Hello everyone, welcome back to Serial Web Driver C Sharp Workshop Part 5. So in this session, I'm going to read the data from the JSON file. So the steps to implement uh, how to read the data from JSON file. So create a JSON file with the test data. And the second one, create the data models. And third step, we have to read the data uh, using the uh, system.text.json class libraries. And finally, we are going to implement the test scripts uh, reading the data from the JSON file. Let's return to the Visual Studio. Okay, the first step I need to create the JSON file. So let me create a folder. This is a test data. So in this folder, I'm going to create a uh, JSON file. So the name of my JSON file is user data example. Okay. So here I am going to create some test data for my uh, test scripts. Okay, so this is the first name. And we have a last name. I have an email. And finally, password. So my JSON file is done. Then I have to create the data model. Let me create a data model folder. Data model. So in this data model folder, I'm going to create uh, a class, which is um, the data example, or you can say uh, data register model for CS. Sorry. Let me delete this file. Class. This is data model example dot CS. And here you need to create the encapsulated methods. Okay. So example, we have uh, the first name, right? Okay, so public string. Okay, we can say just type that, we'll get a bunch of Yes, it's not required. So this is the first name, it's last name, copy the both. Email address, uh, this email. Okay, so your encapsulated methods okay, should be equal to, I mean, same as these keys. First name, last name, email address, and password, okay. Perfect. So my data model is completed for the recession model. I mean, recession screen. So now I have to create the uh, sample test to, uh, to read the data from this file. So I'm going to call this unit test. Okay. So the name of the file is read JSON data. Perfect. So let me remove these existing content fine now this is the time to read the data from the json file okay so what i'll do i'll just send um, a variable okay that is uh, no read data from json is it called okay so file that which is coming from file systems using system.io okay then i need to read all the content all the text from the json file and here you need to pass the path of the file, JSON file. And where is your path? Here is a path. Okay. So I click on this file, copy from paste here. Make sure your file should be, yeah, it is there. And the second step is we need to create a very variable that is example uh, register data example. Register data is equal 
Okay, so we have to use the addition serializer. Addition serializer. Addition serializer is coming from the system dot x dot json. Okay, I'm not going to use the Newton soft uh, json. Uh, in this session, I'm going to use the system dot x dot json. It's a simple one. Okay, then we have to deserialize the output. Okay, we have to deserialize, and then um, so deserialize from where we have the encapsulation class is right? Okay, copy this. And then, and we have to call here the data, data from this. All right. Okay. And then, if you want to use, if you want to call the objects from the JSON or keys from the JSON, okay, this the data dot the first name. Okay. In the same way, this the data dot last name. This data dot email. Dot password. That's it. So try to run this test. Yes, data is pending here. Okay, so I want to utilize the same data. Okay, for my test scripts or test automation. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll just copy some code from the old uh, uh, class. And this is my code. I'll copy this code. Okay, I'll paste here. So in place of okay, this need to be implemented from this base class. Now it is gone. Fine. Now I have to pass the first name, last name, email, password to my test scripts. Okay, here I'm passing the first name. Okay, but if you want to pass the first name, you have to copy this one. Paste here. And the last name also same thing. So this time I'm calling this uh, email from Jason Belloni. The password was the same thing. Right. So after that, I'm going to click on the button. Okay. I don't want all these things right now. Yes. So let me run this test. We'll see uh, whether this data is fetching from the JSON file or not. Or Ramesh Kudikala and our Kudikala 002 at gmail.com. So let me run the test. It's working perfectly. Okay, it's reading the data from the adjacent file. Okay, so that's it for today. So we'll see in the next session with a new topic. Thank you, guys. Thanks a lot.